Ah, the epic majesty of destiny. How I dream of fathoming its unknowable depths. The sweeping vistas stir my heart. The sinister aliens chill my soul. The powers of the guardians ignite my courage. And the sheer breadth of weaponry, well, can any man even comprehend how massive- Uh, Guardian? Blast you, Dinklebot! Not now! Can't you tell I'm setting a mood? There are only nine weapon types in Destiny. Nine, you say? Well then, <clears throat> well then, this is gonna be easier than I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, hair do's and hair don'ts, welcome to The Gun Show. The show that knows no matter how far into the mystical space future you travel, there will always be guns. There might not be, like, a lot of different guns, or even any particularly weird guns, but by golly, they're there. And where there's guns, there are tips, strategies, and other brain upgrades that we're happy to pass along, regardless of your reputation level. It's come one, come all, in this episode of The Gun Show. Let's hit the ground running with the four primary weapons, starting with the only primary weapon that you will ever actually need, the Hand Cannon. If you want to become legend as Destiny urges you to do, the Hand Cannon is your map, compass, and Boy Scout manual all packed into one stone-cold sidearm. Just aim for the head or the white robo-belly or whatever glowing weak spots these freakazoids show you, and kablam! Aliens start exploding like piñatas, only instead of scattering candy, you're releasing their eternal souls out through their neck holes. The hand cannon makes you so badass that there is literally no other option. The grimoire defines literally as in a literal sense. Shut up, Dinklebot. God. Okay, fine. I mean, the hand cannon is awesome for PvE, but don't take it to the Crucible unless you're one of those GD teenage cyborgs who don't know how to shoot anywhere but the head. With the speed of multiplayer encounters and the hand cannon's modest fire rate, you really can't afford to miss because you'll just be auto-rifled into oblivion. So what's a robot lady from beyond the moon to do? Get herself an auto-rifle and BOOM! Problem solved. Well, more like pew 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 problem solved. The fire rates on these things are some of the highest in the game, but beware of going too high. Because then your recoil will be too high, and some of your bullets will go too high, and you'll get killed by Bong Ripkin240, who was too high to even type a weed reference correctly. Strike a good balance between stability and fire rate, aim down sights to home in on the dome, and you'll be out auto-rifling the Crucible auto-riflers in no time. As for auto-rifling aliens, sure, hey, why not? It works, right? It's good for farming, I guess. Honestly, it just seems a little gauche, like shopping at Costco or wearing the Jester Apogee armor shader. I'm no fashionista myself, having chosen to wear this Future War beach towel out on the town, but wouldn't it be classier to roll with a precision weapon and actually have to, like, aim? Enter the Scout Rifle. Faster fire rate than the Hand Cannon, great for shutting down Vandal and Hobgoblin snipers without expending any of your precious sniper ammo. Real talk, it's just more satisfying to tear your way through alien hordes with a precision gun, even if you're only knocking out bounties that are beneath your level. Speaking of bounties, the Scout Rifle is probably your best bet for those headshot bounties in the Crucible, what with the range and fire rate and all. And a final bounty tip? When you cash them in, be sure to have any weapons, gear, or subclass that you want to level up equipped, because the XP bonus is applied immediately. Hello, green circles with plus signs in them. Alright, there's one more primary weapon to talk about, and it's the Pulse Rifle. Not as accurate as the Scout Rifle, not as fast as the Auto Rifle, it's the worst of both worlds, and only used by dire chuckleheads. Alternatively, it's more precise than the auto rifle, and doesn't miss as easily as the scout rifle, so it's the best of both worlds and only savvy guardians of substance use it. Okay, the pulse rifle may be divisive, but it's just like the old song goes. I say tomato, you say tomato. Tomato's obviously right, the pulse rifle sucks. Dooby dooby doo wop, yeah. Now, if we stroll on down to Special Weapon Town, we find a trio of options awaiting us. Two of them are sources of great pride for the human race, because in spite of colonizing other planets and wielding magical powers of strange origin, we still haven't managed to top the boomstick and the long gun for killing things that are really close and really far away. 
In Destiny, if an alien is really close to you, that means that A, it's pretty weak, so you should just shoot it with your primary or punch it like a space-up bobo. Or B, it's pretty strong and it's gonna boom shock a lock of your ass, so you should leap the hell out of the way. This makes the shotgun a pretty weak choice for Vanguard activities, especially given the excellent critical damage that the sniper rifle can deal to the big bads. Oh damn, look at them digits. Sniper rifle all day. The fusion rifle is also a solid bet for Vanguardery because it excels at knocking out shields, so you can headshot ET with your hero cannon. Plus, it's good to keep a few fusions of varying damage types in your inventory in case there's a modifier on one of your big kid strikes. When you bring special weapons into the Crucible, though, it's a different story. Now, you have entered the house of the shotgun. And whether you equip one or not, you'd better believe an invisible hunter is crouched somewhere waiting to blast your boots off. Or about to sprint around a corner, power slide towards you, then pop up with the old blast and stab. Or was it stab and blast? Either way, if you see someone running towards you and not firing, you'd better get your shotty ready or backpedal fast, because you're in one-shot country now, space cowboy. The fusion rifle is equally one-shot capable, but the telltale charge sound sets everybody's spider sense of tingling, so don't miss. Winging a guardian just makes them really angry, so be sure to finish the job quickly by switching to your primary weapon. And the sniper? Well, that all depends on how good you are at lining up a shot. Sometimes it's easy, like when you find a stationary target or camp the heavy ammo spawn. And sometimes it's, well, sometimes you just get your bell rung. And that just leaves two more weapon types, coverage of which I shall now pass off to the Gun Show Repertory Theater. <clears throat> the Rocket Launcher and the Machine Gun, a prologue. Two heavy weapons, both alike in dignity, in fair destiny where we lay our scene. From devastating blast to fell rapidity, where purple ammo rends purple gear unseamed. From forth the fatal barrel towards crucible foes, a pair of fast-fired rockets do glide, whose multi-chambered spawn every guardian knows doth bring swift end to their enemy's ride. The fearful barrage of a death-charged spray, and the continuance of its deadly stream, which, but magazine's end not could delay, unleashes a killstreak that buoys the team. And if for your allies to gather you wait, all shall get ammo, so foes meet their fate. And scene. The Guns of Destiny, all wrapped up in a fancy little package with a Shakespearean ribbon on top. You're welcome. If you've got any tips of your own to share, stories about how awesome the hand cannon is, or requests for fellow gun show viewers to join your fire teams, chime in in the comments below. Until next time, be brave, become legend, and never don't not stop dancing.